Hello, my dear beloved friend. You are welcome to Wake Up to Hope. We bless God for all that he's been doing for us from the beginning of the year till today. By the grace of God, we've entered into the third week in the month of February. And we bless God for all that he has purpose and planned for us in this week. Last week was a very wonderful time in God's presence on this platform. And I believe this week is going to be very exceptional because of what God has prepared for us. We are looking at the message for the week. And I believe God always designs something to keep you and to strengthen your faith as you continue in this journey with the Lord. This week we are looking at putting on the whole armor of God. Putting on the whole armor of God. It is one of the things that believers are very much abreast with. Because we know that the Christian is embarking on a spiritual warfare. And by the writings of Paul, we learn to know how this battle can be handled. So in Paul's writings to the church in Ephesus, he taught them how to handle this spiritual warfare. And it is important we look at it and see how best we can also apply the same principles so that we will overcome all that the enemy will bring on our ways. So when you read the chapter number 6 of Ephesians and the verse number 11, Paul says, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. So this is the instruction Paul gave to the church in Ephesus and to all believers that we should put on the whole armor of God. Now, when we are talking about armor, I believe you know that is the weapon, the full, the complete weapon of the soldier. When the soldier is going to the battlefield to confront the enemy, so he has all kinds of ammunition and also like the uh, so Paul using all these specific you know, weapons to describe the complete armor of the soldier. So in our literal world, we see them to be tools and machines we use to defend ourselves and also as an offensive weapon against the enemy. But you'll be surprised to know that when you come into the Christian life, the Bible teaches that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are again fighting against principalities and powers, demons and all kinds of stuff that we cannot see. And because of that, the weapon for our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty true God. So we need to look at what Paul is saying because sometimes the way people apply these weapons are not appropriate because we tend to think that these weapons are applied in our prayers. So praying, maybe using that I bomb, I destroy, I cake, and I do all those things, sometimes you need to look at them again because if you look at the teachings that Paul is teaching the church in Ephesus, he was rather talking to them about a certain lifestyle, certain virtues, characters that the Christian must develop. So the very weapon or the very weapon that Paul mentioned, which constitute the armor of the soldier, the Christian, they are not material weapons. We don't use them to bomb and to kill the devil, but it's a lifestyle you need to develop so that it becomes a defense also for you, that it resists the enemy from uh, penetrating into your life or overcoming you in times of temptations and trials that come from the devil. So if you look at Paul say, put on the whole armor, he says talk about putting on the belt of truth. He says, when the Christian learn to live by the truth of God and speak the truth and live the life of truthfulness, it is a weapon you have to overcome every plan of the enemy. He talks about righteousness. When we put on the righteousness of God, walking in God's righteousness, whereby we've been accepted and justified by God, if we live our life in that context, living our lives as those that have been accepted by God, he says it's a weapon that we have. And also, he says we should also have a, the gospel of peace. Knowing that the gospel, which is the kingdom message that we carry, is a weapon that we have. 
We also have put on the shield of faith. Your faith in the word of God. Your faith in God. That is, your obedience response to God's word, you know, gives you power to overcome the enemy. And not only that, also your helmet of salvation is important for you to know that you are saved. Once you know you are saved from the grips and the powers of darkness, you are free. So it is important to find yourself or to learn to know that your weapon are things you need to be sure of that you have in Christ. And as you walk in this dimension or live your life in this context, nothing of the enemy can overcome you. This week, I want you to be encouraged and spend time reading the book of Ephesians chapter number 6. And I believe it will be a blessing. We are going to explore this in this week and I believe the Spirit of God will lead and guide us. May God be with you and strengthen you to put on all the armor of God so that you will be able to overcome the enemy. We thank God. May God bless you and keep you, strengthen and equip you in Jesus' name. Amen.